I guess general thoughts on season one, just as a as a review here. What like what what did what are just your thoughts on on season one as a as okay. a whole? Yeah, I I I think like um, I I I enjoyed the. I thought the acting was great. I said every episode. I kept thinking like, wow, it's good. And and what's what? Where I'll get into some negatives here is like I didn't notice the acting for uh, Rand until much later. Why? Because he took a back seat for the first half of the series. So that can be a critique. But once he did, once I saw him step up, I mean, he's shooting the bow and he's he's seeking the void. It's it's awesome. And I'm loving it. So I thought the acting was really good. I loved a lot of the um, Lan Nynaeve dynamic. I thought Moraine was awesome. Um, I felt really confident all the way up through episode seven, and I felt like it was a really good story. It had me guessing. It had me trying to figure out where we were going to go with these things. Um, and I just didn't think it finished. If you want to look, talk about season one as a whole, I didn't think it really uh, got to. It just, didn't it was, play four quarters football. Yeah, you know, you get them up, right? Get it four quarters. Man. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I don't know that it like, like I don't know that we. It was still good, and it still leaves a lot of questions and a lot to speculate about. And it's it's a decent setup, but it wasn't like something that was like at the end. You know, game. I mean, beheading of of Eddard Stark is is one of those that's, like that's actually not the season finale. I know, right? People, but but it's so big that people forget it's not the season finale. Yeah, which is crazy. So there, but I'm there wasn't even there wasn't a moment like that though. You know, like that. I didn't feel like there was right. in in this like whether it be the second to last or even the last episode. I know the Chandlers do a great job and all that. They're they're burning out and stuff. But like you said, they they they're near dead. The they're books, brought back. But in the books, it's Rand. It's Rand. Yeah, and so. Had all that I been think, tied into one one person and one epic moment, I think it would have like hit harder. Um, but I don't know, you know. It just so so to me, it was it was good all around. I was I was locked in. I was I was good. I was even good with some of the changes. Um, and now I'm looking at it, wondering, okay, why did they give certain characters more screen time? Why did they push certain plot lines or whatever forward or advance them? And why did they do the thing with Perrin and his wife? You know, I'm asking those questions. So it's got me asking good questions and, and thinking about. Uh, season two, I think it was beautifully shot. I thought th like the COVID stuff and all the, the, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, right. With Matt, not coming back, Barney Harris and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I Barney really, Harris knocked it out of the park. Yeah. He did a great job. He did a great job. I just think like that is something that it was a hurdle that they did navigate. It did work, but maybe it had something to do with like the awkwardness of the last episode. I don't know. Um, so yeah, but for, for me overall, I said early on, I was, I was given an A. I could, I could be, talked into like a B plus or whatever. I still felt like it was that good all because of the first seven episodes. I don't know where they lost me in, in the last episode, but they did. And I have to admit that normally I don't normally as is like really pulling every string he can to make it seem like this was awesome. You know what I mean? It was epic, but they truly did something happen in that episode that I don't get. I don't know what, what it was. Maybe they wanted that, that feeling. I don't know that, that you're left leaving or you want the audience feeling like they want more, but yeah, that's kind of my, my thoughts on season one, just in general. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I yeah, man, a lot of people are saying I think a lot of people are, are kind of on the same thing here. Just looking at the chat, a lot of people are like, man, you know, there are definitely parts I liked definitely ready for a, like I still want more, even though I didn't like that final episode. Sure. Yeah, there's de there's definitely parts. And I think that's sort of a, a success is that at the end of the day, we all are sitting here wanting more. Another um, shot. Yeah, man. You know, I generally loved episode like episode one. I just loved and I think yeah. and I still go back to it. It's just because a lot I saw so much of all of the stuff. Like getting the hype and like doing it live streaming with you guys, um, which, by the way, let me just say, get that out out of, out of the way first. Um, the live streaming and watching this show with you guys and coming on and talking every oh. week is literally the single most fun thing ever. It's yeah. just so awesome. Like so many people in the chat that we've like been seeing this whole time. MJ Daniel. Um, uh, it, oh, Copy I, to pasty. Uh, Copy to pasty exactly. I mean, some other people. There was a what's his name, Red Five, uh, Dragon Alan down. Burr, Dragon Down. A lot of you guys um, have all been on here hanging out with us the entire time. If I, yeah. did, I obviously didn't get to everybody, but it's been so there's, much there's fun. There was there's so many of you. Guys. There's so many. It's so awesome. Uh, just coming on. So anyway, so the the hype and the excitement. So episode one, like I loved. Episode two, I I felt like um, when I watched it the first time, the White Cloaks again man just seeing them and seeing them more menacing we were like this is crazy this is like super yeah it's cool. crazy yeah it was awesome 
Um, Shadar Lagoth ended up being like eh, it wasn't. I guess it didn't end up being like as cool as I thought it would be, but it was still it was still kind of good. Episode three, once Tom sets on, even though his song kind of had he has this like raspy, you know, whatever kind of voice, I still liked it, and I still think he's good, and I definitely just want way more Tom Marilyn, uh, mm-hmm, like because mm-hmm. I I want I want more right. Then um, things kind of change around for me. I don't know. I kind of episode four for me, like with Nynaeve and the be, potentially being the dragon thing. Like it was exciting, but I'm just like not a big Nynaeve fan. So I, I sure. in, in, internally, I was like, like, you know, like clenching my fist because I'm just not a Nynaeve fan. <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, if, if they're going to make anybody the dragon it, that besides Rand, it needs to be a Gwen. Um mm-hmm. And uh, but it, whatever, it was still, it was so good, exciting. Low gain was freaking sick. And then I really felt like, man, it went, like I felt by like ep- by the end of episode three, like three through seven is like phew, they've hit their yeah. stride and it's just climbing. And it just felt like each week it was just yeah, good, good, yeah. good stuff. And then yeah, eight, uh, episode seven cold opening with Tigrain was freaking like unreal. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then we had episode eight and I was like, man, what's going on? And I felt like they just, yeah, they didn't know what they were, didn't know what they were doing. And it was a downside, but all in all, I'm still excited for season two. I still had a great time. I actually think I love the score. I'm a big music person. So for me, I, I yeah. actually, I love the intro opening. I think it's cool. I think the score is very cool. Um, Daniel Henney is land for me is like the standout of the season. If I have to pick one person, uh, as like, as a cast member, oh, I definitely yeah. want, I definitely want more Rand. Yeah. Perrin and the wolves was cool, but, uh, yeah, for me, I'd have to say, honestly, like Valda, it might be like my, my second favorite just because as yeah. a villain, he just kills it. It was, I mean, good. he just, he kills it as a, yeah. as a, as a villain and when you have that's my big thing is when you have good villains he was yeah. by far the most menacing villain of the whole thing yeah way way more than the dark one like right you yeah know, that that, dark that needs some work yeah he's the best villain of this of the season and it's, it's yeah. i didn't think i didn't think it's close yeah so i was yeah he was really 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 good as he crushed it out of the park mm-hmm. so definitely excited so there's again there's a lot of good pieces and I feel like it's like I feel like, you know, if you consider this to be a, a rough draft, I feel like, OK, now you now you can reflect on season two and you and you can say, OK, what do they like? What didn't they like? Sure. And then and then yeah. uh, go forward. My biggest sort of criticism, if I have to pick one thing, in all honesty, would be. I felt like even less than the idea that they're building up the dark one to be this big villain. I actually feel like where they didn't hit anything out of the park was they spent the entire season talking about why the dragon are born is such a big deal. And then really the only thing we actually ever see is Nynaeve when they think she's the dragon and she does like the, you know, super heal everyone. Mm-hmm. And then when it's Rand's turn it he, it didn't feel it felt weird because like, they're in a stasis state and it was, and then, and then in the books, he's the one that uses lightning to blow everyone up and they change it towards all the girls. And so it's like right now, I don't feel like being the dragon. Is that really that cool of a thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it got way slowed down and it got way. You know what I mean? Like that. That was the other thing, too, is it really shrank down to this, like him showing him other, like a, like a Gwen and, and a baby and a child and all this stuff. And it just felt uh, like you said, yeah, and, like, the, like the dragon didn't have this, the power. They were going to throw the dragon there and they were going to just like toss him right in front of the dark one and say, boom, he's going to explode and go crazy. And that just. You know, he has that moment where he turns the 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 thing, but you know, great comment here. Did you ever think we'd be saying we want more white clothes? I know, no, no, never. I didn't think <laughs> never. that at all. <laughs> like, yeah, they landed that. Never. That was good. They, that they was good. yeah, they made the white cloaks way more awesome than they've ever been. Hey, even the subtlety and like Jeff from Bornhold and his demeanor towards Moraine, my lady, getting aid and stuff. I was like, wow, they're they they're um, threading a the needle there. It was good yeah real good so yeah. yeah so awesome so all right guys i think that's an okay place to to wind down on right about two and a half hours here so it's super fun super cool so guys moving forward as and i are going to be diving back into the books um 
for these guys, we have all of our podcasts are here on YouTube as well. There's in playlists mm -hmm. and we're working our way through the books. It's actually my first read through the books. And so it is treated as a first read. So there's nothing really spoilery. Um, but we're about to start. So like our, a lot of the content you'll be seeing on the channel, we will still be covering season two and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. But a lot, you will start beginning to see some book content as well here on the channel. And we're about to start book six, which is Lords of Chaos and Fires of Heaven. Let me tell you, it kind of left me like season eight. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. episode eight. Let's not episode. Get well, yes. Yeah, same, yeah. <laughs> same thing. Really. Same thing, uh, right. <laughs> same thing. And so episode eight, that's kind of how I felt a little bit about Fires of Heaven. But man, I'm back in the Lords of Chaos and just picks right back up. Yeah, it does. And I'm excited for that. So definitely, if you want to check that out and have some fun and and uh, we also do a segment, too, at the beginning of it where we do like our village council and we, we kind of talk about maybe show stuff, as Matt said, season two or even just uh, questions left over from season one. That would be kind of fun and maybe even explaining some things in the wheel of time that might matter, you know, objects and items and, and power and stuff and, and such. So we have uh, extra episodes over on Apple Premium, over on Patreon. If you guys want to support us and help us out there, we, we'd love you forever. Uh, a review on the podcast, comments on the videos helps. It's great. Uh, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. You guys are freaking awesome. And. Yeah, man, we cannot wait to kind of continue um, with the book club. That would be exciting. Matt's already into the prologue and he's enjoying it. So, oh, I'm in like I'm at like chapter five. It's freaking. Are awesome. you? Are you good? Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, this book's good. Like, see, book like I I love and I've loved the first four books. I I really liked. Um, yeah. And then five kind of took it down, and then six I'm way back up. So yeah. nice. So nice. Awesome, awesome guys. So all right, guys. With that, as always, thank you for listening or watching here on youtube we always appreciate it we will see you next time and remember that the grave is no bar to our call